Welcome to this week's Thrill of Driving podcast. Now, not much has happened. It is holiday season. Well, holiday season yeah. spilling over a little longer than we expected. It's still holiday season, and not too much has happened in the car world, except for maybe CES. CES, and that's what Suresh is covering right now. Yeah, he's, he's still not back. Like I told you last week, he's still holiday. Yeah, so he's still he's still in the US, and we'll probably talk about CES when he's back because he'll have a lot more insight into what's happening there than we can say from reading stuff on the internet. Um, so what we're going to talk to you about this week. is what the two of us have been up to during our holidays so i went on a holiday for about 10 days from pune he's been in pune but he's been having fun here too so abhishek yeah. what have you been doing driving slash riding slash no 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 first of all let's talk about fun i closed while while you were not here i did huh. fast bikes i closed motorsport also and after that i did my first car shoot of the year which is i think also the what? first car shoot after ages i don't first car shoot of last year or first car of shoot of this, this year, year? also ah, and so my first first shoot after ages i don't remember ah. when i drove a car last on a shoot ah. and that was a thankful it was a skoda kodiak scout very nice car i drove it i, <laughs> I drove the kodiak i remember about 2 years ago in kerala and this yeah you did the first drive for it i, I did the first drive going with the lamin yeah now we did the we drove the scout and it i love the fact it's so characterful uh, the interiors like the looks yeah. and thinking i mean if just take its case it's the cheapest the most affordable uh, kodiak in the range yeah and it it's got so many things it's got the interiors going for it it's, it's got the looks yeah very premium and how is the scout different from the regular kodiak uh not much really they say it's more off road centric it's got okay. some off road dish elements it's got a diffuser at the front and rear it's just visual elements and it's got a skid held, plates you mean yeah skid plates okay. and uh That's the only thing, basically. Uh, it it's already a, had an off-road mode. No, this is uh, the off-road mode is new. If I'm not so right. off-road mode yeah. is new, but what it gets is uh, held decent control. That's correct. It. That's the only yeah. thing new. That's okay. nothing else is there. The AWD system it was already there. That's still working as mm-hmm. how it used to. But is wouldn't it be tuned and optimized for more off-road? They say it's not. It it was always how it was. It's just the visual changes. Okay. Yeah, and the But interiors are some more wood and mm-hmm. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of new inserts, yeah. Alcantara elements, and it's very premium. It's yeah. got a And and it's affordable. How much is the price? Now? It's now it's thirty four. I think yeah. when we were when I was driving, it was it was thirty two. That was an introduction. Intro prices, yeah. Now they've gone up. Thirty two. Damn good, man. Yeah, for a seven seater, and considering you got a Tiguan that costs thirty six, I think, for the top of the line five seater, mm. small hatchbackish. It's not a hatchback. It's a that's what crossover. that's what Vijay Parmar says, and I <laughs> I think I would agree with him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you drove the Skoda Kodiak yeah. first. That was the first shoot of the year and for me. Abhishek saying he had fun in the car is a big deal, yeah. Just yeah. just put it out there. He he takes every chance he gets to say, "Oh, cars are not as fun as motorcycles," and I agree with him. But he's extremely like uh, pushes that agenda very aggressively. Yeah. And for him to say that a car was fun means, hmm. And then something else you did, no? What yeah. Did so we went riding. I took Abhishek, Benny, my uh, intern photographer. On a trail ride on his SR one fifty while I was <laughs> I was I was riding the X Pulse, which is. Like it's home. Of course, we got ditched by many people, and end of the end of the day, it was only the two of us. But we had so much fun. We went to Panchet and discovered a new trail. We had no cash with us, so we were paying by every single penny, every single rupee, and we were left with no money in the end. And we were worried about if we what happens if we get a puncture. Wait, so how far did the Aprilia go? It did everything that the Express did without really? without any issues. No punctures, nothing happened, and Benny didn't even fall, which is great. I mean, great yeah. riding. Yeah, I must say. How many times did you fall? I fell four times <laughs> because I entered. I don't know. It was like a waterfall come cascade. It looked okay. It was barely a feet, not two feet deep, and I went inside. That's it. It was all moss at the bottom. <laughs> I skid twice. Then the bike fell on top of me twice. <laughs> yeah, but nothing happened to the bike. That's the best. Yeah, but part. then that's the beauty of the expulse, right? Yeah, like I don't know. A- I broke the. It's got a plastic bar in, which is great. It just flew off, and huh. the impact. That's it. That was the impact. Right. If, so if nothing you, happened to the bar. Nothing happened to the bar. Absolutely yeah. nothing. Because if you ride, if you have ever ridden a, uh, a Himalayan, and if you have had a fall in the uh, past, yeah. I remember. The, <laughs> you not just the. <laughs> not not uh. just the chassis, but the handlebar used to break. It used to bend so easily. On the expulse, nothing happened. I got a few scratches on the exhaust muffler. Even yeah. that's it. Nothing else. 
Yeah, like and, it's absolutely fine. That's the beauty. I mean, with your muscles, also you probably be able yeah, to pick the. Yeah, I just I lifted it out and that was it. Yeah, yeah. If, it, if it was a Himalayan, forget my sled. I I won't take my sled anyway. Yeah. But yeah, if it was the Himalayan, I wouldn't even dare to take it out. And we had no range over there, no no network coverage. So if you're lost, you're stuck. Yeah, we were stuck, and I had Benny with me who weighs forty <laughs> kg. I don't know. Yeah, probably forty forty five kg. Benny's thinner than I am. Okay, just to give you perspective. Half of Aditya's size probably. Yeah. <laughs> Tempo guy, but he was on the April line. You all, you all went, had fun, no? We had a lot of fun. We yeah. were riding for eight hours that day. Usually <laughs> on the ride, we take about three to four hours, but because of my stupidity, and yeah. we spent about one two hours in that lake hmm. pond, whatever, <laughs> <laughs> before getting out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he was on his motorcycles, and I actually took my motorcycle out as well. So I've recently bought a KTM three ninety Duke. If you follow me on Instagram, you'd know. Um, I call her it her whatever Lana. Um, <laughs> and i took lana home for the first time so home for me is goa and i really wanted to take my motorcycle home um well show it the house and i got to do that and i actually took the long way around so i didn't go pune to goa i went pune to bangalore bangalore to goa and then i rode back here and why do you go to bangalore meet some friends eh acha yes friends uh, <laughs> friends <laughs> legit friends <laughs> um But yeah, lots of fun, man. And the KTM is so much. I mean, it's a 2013 model, so it's the yeah, first. Yeah, um, the first gen. Yeah, it's the first bunch of Dukes that came. Yeah, who were ever launched. The problematic Duke, yeah, as no, it was called. But I don't know why it was called that. Yeah, people my used bike, to complain. Yeah, my but, bike's what seven, six years old. Yeah, it's going to be seven this year, and no problem, man. I rode it for 2,100 kilometers. It just had a service what two and a half thousand kilometers ago. I just had to loop the chain and go. Make sure But my tire pressure. Like I've heard, the riding position is so upright and so aggressive. It is aggressive, um, in the sense that you're sitting tall. I mean, you're sitting high up. It's almost super moto style. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't find it uncomfortable at any point. You know, uh, I had a tail wag on my motorcycle. Uh, one from Bangalore to Goa, I didn't actually pack that tail wag very nicely, and it's just like a sack. Which you mounted on onto on your tail, um, and because I didn't pack it too well, all the luggage got shifted inside while I was riding, and then it started pinching my back. Uh, but if you pack the bag properly, and or if you're what about the seats padding? Because I remember riding Vishal's three ninety yeah. Duke earlier. Yeah. It was so, so bad, like a bench. a lot of people said the seat is very uncomfortable. I didn't yeah. find it so. It's not like I have a lot of padding under me either. Like I'm not I'm a thin guy, so I. A lot of people said the seats uncomfortable. I didn't find the seat that uncomfortable. I could sit. I sat for. Eight nine hours in the saddle and no problem. Quite yeah. surprising, yeah. We've been But, hearing a lot of negative. I have my own two hundred Duke and I remember riding it to Goa. I never felt it was bad. Yeah. Like yeah. I've seen people complaining about it, but I, yeah. I guess I guess how much of a sucker punishment you are also. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, and and what what I like the most about the three ninety is just how you can carry good average speeds because of that engine. You know, yeah. it's got such good acceleration. Overtaking is so easy. It's a narrow bike, so you can squeeze through gaps easily, and maintaining good speeds on the highway on a motorcycle like the three ninety Duke is just so easy. I love it. I think, I think it's the right amount of performance for India. I don't yeah. think you need more. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't need more performance. Don't, I mean, actually, don't. Need our roads are aren't good enough to handle bigger bikes. You yeah. can handle them, but then you're always um, reining in the motorcycle. This one, you can actually just let it do its thing and fall into a good rhythm with the motorcycle. It's not doing a hundred percent, but you're. You're having fun on it, and I really oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. something very close, something that comes close right now from Royal Enfield is the is the inter- interceptor. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. been missing out on action from our fleet. If you are following us, yeah. that is, it's gone out. It's gone back. It's been I think what five six weeks now. I've been missing it quite a lot terribly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, like I told you, the exhaust has been stolen. <laughs> the parts are not there. Waiting for the GMA, as they call it. Yeah. genuine some parts or something accessories so yeah genuine motorcycle like motorcycle me i don't know anyway so those are to be put on the bike and i'm going to get the bike with all the accessories maybe with 10 15 kg added <laughs> so yeah it's going to be fun yeah but speaking of what what he's getting at is that the interceptor is a similar price to performance bracket yeah, as the 390 yeah. it's a completely different format of motorcycle it's a more laid back more like everything about it right from the seating position to the way it delivers power everything is more laid back but it's a it's similar if you compare price and performance yeah you know? and, and i think it's more comfortable as well really yeah probably i don't know i've not been on long distance have, so. yeah even the seat is not bad but if yeah. you're that that's if you're riding for maybe 3 4 hours at a stretch probably otherwise it's fine yeah and you can do good speeds on that too really yeah? good speeds yeah, yeah. lovely bike hmm talking about speeds i can also talk about my sled yeah 
abhi now he'll show off finally now, finally he, i have been right i have a duke <laughs> i finally bought a duke so he bought a sled just to one up me <laughs> nice no i started with the expulse huh. then you bought the duke yeah. then i bought the sled <laughs> now what do i have to buy <laughs> Multi-star Maybe at all of it. Yeah, 1260. 1260. <laughs> ah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Finally, I've been getting all the time that I wanted to understand, explore the sled. Yeah. So, I've been riding it around. Not taken for a long ride, but yeah, I've been exploring some trails. Also, finally, mm. I changed the setup last week. What's it like owning a Ducati? Is it very expensive? I haven't had any issues so far. But yeah, something like, for example, we were just sitting down, me and Rohit, and we were looking at the bike. We found one engine bolt was loose. What? What? <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so these are the random things that keep on popping from everywhere like every time you gas it it's if it's in a higher gear at maybe third gear and if i'm doing 30 it starts rattling i don't know from where i'm still trying to figure out but that's yeah. common with all the ducatis if you consider even the new diavel every 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 ducati is the same yeah. there's a lot of character but now finally i signed up uh, with doc mumbai hmm. so oh, you did i did you paid yeah, the money yeah i had to pay 11000 rupees for <laughs> annual membership but they are saying that I'll, i'll get a lot of things with it i can go and maybe probably we get to go to wdw also if we don't get the invite yeah. that's happening this year it's happening in july i think first week of july wdw is happening world yeah. ducati week so yeah probably i'll get an invite to go for that and a lot more things but yeah no but i'm there's asking a, like so there's now, a novel for example yes we were looking at your tires and yeah. your rear tires nearly worn out how much yeah. is a new tire going to cost you 25000 25000 for the rear tire <laughs> That's the total kit, yeah. But my front tire is going to cost me about twelve k, and the rear they said thirteen. Ah, okay. So I spoke so to Kareli last to get a twenty five. Ah, okay. But yeah, that's still expensive. But yeah. that's the best tire that that was proper. I think that was made for the sled. Was it? It was. Uh, officially, specifically made for the sled. Okay. So that's the most premium that tire that I can buy. I have other options also. If I'm not planning to go off roading, I can maybe get the two runs. Uh, but you thought I ride your sled 15. from office to home, nothing yeah. else. So you might as well get. No, I go trail riding every month also. Which <laughs> On the expulse. He doesn't come. On the expulse. No, I ride the sled also. Acha. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't come for any ride, so he won't. What I'll take. You should ask my photographer, the arrest Benny. Benny. On his trail, yeah. So yeah that's yeah. been happening also yeah as a team building exercise we also took all of the video guys the photo guys and all the correspondents for a go karting outing yesterday yeah it was a lot of fun so yeah, there's a new go kart track opened track, in yeah. pune uh what's it called circuit 77 i yeah, don't know it's 77 did you ask him why it's 777 no it's Not 77, 77 or 777 it's a, so maybe he's a botas fan we should ask circuit him circuit 77 yeah 77 no benny yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm guessing he's a botas fan yeah. but why would anybody be botas fan why not dude <laughs> i don't know he's a nice guy dude <laughs> no <laughs> better better finish drive out there he's still riding and driving anyway yeah. yeah yeah so circuit 77's opened up in pune it's in mundua in pune it's a quite an interesting track it's little over 500 meters long yeah and they've got 5.5 horsepower four stroke carts there yeah four stroke and case. you can just go head out there what it's what, 550 rupees for 10 laps if i'm not yeah, wrong you know yeah. and that's reasonable i think that's quite reasonable i mean yeah. i thought it was pricey before i got there but then i got there i saw the track i saw the cars the cars are new so they're in good condition right now um that was good fun man i mean a lot of fun yeah five, we went out five at a time there were total of 10 of us there went out five at a time and we had good fun lot of fun in fact karan karan over to him and this fellow claims to be some what national karting god knows mrf what. Uh, Mondial go kart. I used to be sponsored by MRF. For that was 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> And let me remind you, I put on 40, 45 kgs at least after that. So, uh-huh. so, so yeah, that's he claimed with his big guns, I'm going to go kart and all. And then Karan, who's our intern, overtook him. So I, I don't know. What is Karan's weight? 55. God knows, he's 60. Thin, he's so thin. yeah. Yeah. What what is my weight? Eighty <laughs> five. So yeah. But you should like your skill, weight. your national championship skills should compensate for the weight. You remember there was a straight that was about two hundred meters should long. Should compensate like your race craft. This is thanks. <laughs> and yeah, and Alamin actually kept me behind for a whole two, <laughs> two laps. <laughs> Now Alamin was again he's a little bigger than me, so he was slower than me. And But also he was sliding like yeah, Vin he was, Diesel. Yeah, he just wanted to slide the cart. Like I don't know what cheap thrills he was getting from that. But he he was taking lines that I couldn't get past him. It's a narrow track. I mean, and I didn't want to like bang the carts around and like squeeze through and that sort of thing. So I was just politely holding back, waiting for him to make a mistake, which he eventually did after two laps, and then I got through. But yeah, I mean, karting is so much fun, you know. So like, much fun, yeah. It's I mean, I my I texted on my family group yesterday saying um. Uh, I'm going to go so broke there's a karting track which has opened 10 minutes from my house and mom was like you don't need to go karting you're driving Ferraris in the run of that <laughs> I'm like ma 
grass roots these are our roots i mean go karting is where everything started for most of us i mean yeah, yeah. i used to kart as a kid you obviously yeah. used to kart as a kid and most of us enthusiasts if you were a karting track in your city you've been there and it's it's how we get initiated to being a petrol head i guess yeah. Yeah. the best part is this it, the old track it was there it was certified by fmsci better known as mai during those days yeah Motorsports Association of India. I remember yeah. I had a sticker on my kinetic Nova. <laughs> so <laughs> during 2004 or 2003, sometime back then, it shut and it's open at the same place where it used to be. So yeah, it's got a lot of memories. Even the layout is very similar yeah. to yeah. the 2003 track. Yeah. So yeah, it's got to be a lot of fun, I guess. Yeah. So if you've got a karting track in your city, just head out there. I mean, and honestly, you know, it's the best place to learn. Uh, car control, yeah. oversteer, understeer. It's it go karting is probably the best place to learn how a car works and how to drive a car well. All the best. F1 driver started in karting. Yeah, yeah, all of them. Yeah, so go kart. I mean, yeah, that's about it. Like, honestly, this this was it for this episode of the Thriller Driving Podcast. Uh, there's not been too much news happening. I'm going to be heading out tomorrow to drive the new Volvo yeah. XC40 T4. That's the petrol engined XC40. That's going to be interesting. There's a few new cars coming out. The Carnival is coming out. The next one EV is coming out. We're going to be driving those in the next few weeks. Uh, Put yeah, even some to... scooters. I think the Activa 6G is launching. Oh, yeah. 6G. Ahead of the curve, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's also the Chetak launch. There's the 390 ride. The A lot of things happening. Adventure. Yeah, adventure. Yeah. Still yeah. waiting for it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so lots of interesting stuff happening in the next two. Few weeks. Yeah, few um, weeks. The news will pick up soon. People are going to start launching their 2020 model year cars. Uh, Mercedes has a few cars lined up. Everyone's got a few cars lined up, so... that's going to be interesting auto expo happens at the start of next month so that's going to be big uh so stay tuned we're going to be covering all of these things on future episodes of the thrill of driving podcast that's it from us that's this it, week yeah. yeah thank you thank you um if you like what you heard like subscribe share um and leave us a comment yeah let us know what you think whether you can go go karting whether you've been go karting or whatever i mean let us know what you're thinking Subscribe to the Evo India channel and hit the bell icon to keep pace with the thrill of driving.